Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to be looking at a brand new Tag Team Jax Pokemon. Yes, before Cosmic Eclipse, we got this new Trevenant and Dusnor uh, Tag Team GX, and in kind of a era where hand control is very controversial and uh, very potent, we then get this Dusnor Trevenant card. Which is hilarious to me because it's like everyone, you know, kind of complaining about the hand control meta. And then we get this card, and uh, this card is pretty insane. Um, it's a hand control card. We use a night, uh, night Watch to 150, choose two random cards from your opponent's hand, uh, and your opponent reveals them and uh, shuffles them into their deck. So we're going to be hand controlling the opponent using Miss Magius to knock ourselves out, activate Buzzmosa's, um, or activate B-String, sorry, for Buzzmosa. We put Psych Energies on it, and then we want to tag switch the energy to the Trevenant Dustnor. That is pretty much the idea of the deck. And uh, it does seem like a pretty insane concept. And this guy in Expanded might be fun to look at too before the Expanded Man's hit. So I'll probably look at that too. Um, so before we get the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Kirkham and TCG guys, as always, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you're maybe trying to get Unified Minds codes, or you're trying to pre-order Cosmic Eclipse codes before Cosmic Eclipse comes out. And when they do get the Cosmic Eclipse codes, uh, in stock you can pre-order them over at Kirkham and TCG and of course they have all the other PDCGO code goodness like Pokemon GX codes if and when they do get Trevenant and Dustnor codes at Kirkham and you can order them there use my discount code code LDF and again get any other PDCGO code related stuff there of course if you get anything from there make sure you use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order uh sports channel help yourself out help Kirkham and TCG out women for everyone so yeah shout out to Kirkham and TCG now let's look at our list here so this list is inspired by my friend ADVGYM. I, he provided a list, and I've kind of taken this list and expanded upon a little bit. I really think the two ways to play this card, obviously Malamar being a huge one, being able to just Malamar to this card is also a very good concept. But the idea of using Miss Magius seems a little more logical because we mysterious message knock ourselves out and this provides two benefits for the deck one we can activate b-string when we knock two of them out so we can buzz wool we can put energy on buzz wool to then tag switch to this guy to power this guy up in one turn uh we can also use Ms. magius to then reset stamp the opponent to four cards and then we hit them with this guy and 150 damage is solid that's gonna not knock out to denes but like 150 damage is going to definitely put pressure on the opponent and night watch is a pretty cool attack and that's pretty much the concept of the deck. Knock ourselves out of this Magius, give our opponent more, uh, you know, cards from their prizes so that reset stamp sticks harder. We are going to be using cards like Jesse and James and Mars, just these, you know, dirty, nasty supporters, to try and just remove cards from our opponent's hand and control their hand. Uh, we can't use Chip Chip Ice Axe with this deck because Trevin and Dustnor specifically shuffles the cards. So if you Chip Chip them and then do Trev, you're just going to shuffle their deck. So it Chip Chip does absolutely nothing, which, I mean, is kind of good, kind of bad, because it'd be so easy to control the opponent with Chip Chip Ice Axe here, but you can't do Chip Chip Ice Axe, because the cards get shoveled in their deck, and to be fair, they're not getting discarded, but they're still going to get disrupted, and if they draw a dead card, they don't, you know, you're, they're kind of screwed. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the concept here. We go into the items now and everything. We got three copies of B-String, a very powerful card, again, being able to build a buzzle, four Cherish Balls with four Treasure, and one Pokecom. For my search options, I like having the Pokecom in case we have to put him as Maggie's back into the deck um, to then later on, you know, use Mysterious Message. I think it's really good. Just having all these search options is nice. Cherish Ball, Treasure, just max cards to find what you need. You can always get rid of the excess ones later on the road with Jesse and James. Uh, four Pogears, of course, for supporters. Uh, I got three stamps. I guess four would be logical, but we, we're fine with three. We're, we have a lot of draw consistency with Mysterious Message and, of course, with Green's Exploration. I got two switches, of course. Three tag switch. I would maybe recommend four because tag switch is a very crucial card in this deck to move the energy from Buzzmosa to the Trev Dusnor. Uh, we are playing three power plants. Uh, just three power plants. Just stick them in play. Not only are you going to shut off the Dene if they have no supporter because you put the back in the deck, you also shut off the Dene. It's a pretty good card. You also should obviously shut off Mew 3. And you're also going to, well, you're going to one shot Mew 3 if they don't have Draw Chief. But you drop power plant on me, one shot them anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, power plant is really busted. Uh, four greens exploration again another really good card in here being able to get dust stones early on is really good we are playing two lieutenant surges another very important card here is gonna be lieutenant surge because if you miss maggie's knock yourself out and then do surge you could do like double green to get like tag switch b strings all that good stuff really good card to jesse and james again we're gonna be trying to control the opponent's hand you could maybe try to fit in a couple wheezings if you want lucamine wouldn't be bad in here either 
We got two Mars. Being able to discard an extra card is really good. And then, of course, I am playing seven Psychic Energy. Instead of six, AGVGYM's list played six. I've just gone with seven, because if you get the turn, we can attach an energy and then just do one Beast Ring Tech Switch. It works out in the end for you. But yeah, that's it for the Trevin and Miss Maggie's list here. This deck is definitely a scary deck. Both literally because it's near Halloween and this card is a ghost type Pokemon. And of course, Miss Magius is a ghost type too. But it's also a scary deck to play against because it can really control the hand size and make it really hard for the opponent to do anything. If you can attack with uh, on your second turn of this deck, it's like pretty much rip if they have no energy in place. So yeah, let's go show off the deck here on PCGO and see if we can win some games with Trevenant Tusnor. We need to figure out a name for this card, by the way, guys. Like Guardian and Pikaram and Reshizar. We need to figure out a name for it. Could it be like Trevnor? Anyways, let's go show it off. All right, guys, we're gonna go do some games now with the Dust Trevenant deck. See how quick the games can last. A deck like this would probably cause quick concede. Let's be honest here. Um, and first game up against a fire deck. If this is Green Zard, I mean, not gonna be good for them. Uh, we'll see though, because lowering their hand size is like pretty good for us we'll see how well we do here oh, we are gonna mulligan kind of revealing what we're playing i think the trev sleeves give it away though and okay pretty good hand i would say pretty good hand so yeah they're playing a green czar deck and i think this is winnable because we can very easily lock them out of the game and uh we'll see but the only problem is if they build up a charizard quick enough they can play really aggressive and do a lot of damage let's we'll see if that becomes an issue Ooh, that's a pretty good top deck uh we'll do this get cherish ball get another green doesn't look like we're gonna be doing much this turn so we'll do this get the miss magius in play Cherish Ball, get ourselves a Buzzmosa. Having this in play is definitely not ideal, but at the same time, it might not matter because my opponent probably won't have a good way to deal with it. So, do I want to knock myself out? Or do I want to wait a turn? I think I will knock myself out. If I can maybe do like a double Miss Magius here. No, never mind. I was gonna say, if I double Miss Magius, I could maybe stamp them the four cards. Fine, though we'll just wait a turn and then we'll go for green we'll get ourselves a treasure dust stone go from there we're gonna see if they build up a rushy's art here though that's one thing i'm worried about but no they're actually gonna welder that's good if we control them they obviously we're gonna make it so they can't do welder to a rushy's art so that'll be nice they could do 50 damage to me, which is fine. I guess they could do Flare Starter still, right? If you go second, yeah. So they could still do Flare Starter, but they're just going to hit me for 50. All right, that's a good turn for us. Um, okay, we'll do this. We'll green. We'll get a B-String and a Treasure. Seems right, yep. B-String Treasure. Definitely want to put another one down. We'll treasure away Mars or Jesse. That's a tough one. I think the Jesse and James has got to go. I think the Mars might be more important. I don't know. <laughs> I might regret that, but I think we're chilling. Kind of wish we could uh, play one of these other items in our hand, but we have to wait until we knock ourselves out in order to play all three of these. But we're fine. We do have two switches. That's pretty pointless, but this is good. We can start attacking with Night Watch now. And that is all that matters. I guess we really need one energy, but... Well, what does this guy's second effect do? I have to have three energy on, yeah, so we can only really need just one energy. But I would like to thin the deck out, but then if I get knocked out, I actually won't have enough energy left. So we should probably just do this. Okay, this is a pretty good turn. We can also now stamp them, knock them out. They have no Reshi's art in play. Not looking good. We have double switch, so if they try to custom me, it will night watch, knock him out, and let's see if we can hit uh, some good cards here with our attack. Okay, a surge and energy honestly isn't bad. The energy means they might not have energy for welder. The surge means they can't even play it. That's pretty good. Well, actually, they're not behind in prizes anyways, but yeah, this is pretty good. 
We have a stamp and another Mars, which is nice. And all we gotta do now is just build this guy up. Just on the event, he builds another Reshazard up. Uh, Nightwatch 250, though, two shotting them. We might have locked him out of the game. Okay, never mind. They have a green. But that means they might not really be able to build a Reshazard. Honestly, their best play here might have to be Flare Star. But we're gonna just Mars them and then hit them with another Nightwatch. There's not much they can really do. I think we're in a really good spot. So yeah, a matchup like uh, Greens are pretty straightforward. I think it's a good matchup. I think we did dodge a bullet there that they didn't build up a Reshizard there on their first turn. Instead, just hit me for 50. Um, but yeah, when this deck does not brick, it does seem to be really good. Uh, they're going to get a Choice Helmet. That kind of helps them a little bit. Uh, but if we ever get in range of getting knocked out, we can always just switch tag switch to another Trev Dusnor. Again, the only thing that might tip me off is having this guy in play. Um... But again, if we control them, we should be okay. Do they have an energy? They do. The choice helmet is a little annoying, but we should be able to lock them here. See, we draw. Cherish ball gets us nothing. Great. Yeah, we still have so much of our deck left. I guess we'll just Mars. B string's good. Oh, great potion. That's a good discard, honestly, just in case, you know, he heals this Reshi's heart. See if we can uh Well wait it we'll wait a turn to Poke Gear, actually. And just Night Watch knock. But we can actually do Pale Moon. Depending on uh, what happens here, we can Pale Moon and just play Mars. Uh, but at this point I am probably just looking for another green just to tag switch, get this guy powered up, and then we can just do that. Oh you Bruh. Okay, well, hopefully he gets a welder here. Because <laughs> he can't play the welder if he draws it. Bruh. Okay, whatever. Like, it could have been a lot worse. We can still, like, control this regardless. He can get a fire crystal if he wants. That's one way he could power his Reshizard up. He'll still only have, like, one or two cards in his hand, so it's not any big deal. He could maybe get like a double custom here, bring out the Buzzmosa, and be like, oh, I guarantee you don't have a switch in your hand. I'm going to hit you for 60, but the joke's on you. I can switch into Trev. A little annoying that he drew that, but whatever. I think we're still in a pretty good spot regardless. Like, I don't, like, the best thing, yeah, he's going to get a crystal. He's going to get a heat factory. Okay, so we actually need to find, so yeah, we definitely want to hit a green off this Pokey Gear so that we can get Power Plant in play. Okay, well, it's a good thing you can't do Welder this turn. We can always just reset stamp him. I don't think his hand's going to get any bigger than this, though. He could hit me for 200. So what can we do? We can Pale Moon. As long next At the end of your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon is knocked out. And we can discard all the energy on them. Oh my gosh. And we drew a Jesse James. Okay. Let's do Poke Gear. Ah, rip. No green. We've already played two. It's not great. But. I think I'm going to go Pale Moon. Pale Moon Jesse James. Get rid of uh, Lieutenant Surge and Switch. Or Buzzmosa, sorry, and Switch. Seems like a good play. Yeah, we're not gonna get the power plan and play this turn. Not, you know, I would have liked to have gotten it, but whatever. Ooh, switch is a big discard for him. We'll keep the surge just in case something weird happens. All right, let's see what happens next. He might have an energy in his hand. But we'll knock out this Reshizard and we should be able to win. So Jesse and James was definitely a good call there. We just need to find more greens. We need to get rid of this heat factor. We also need to move the energy to this guy. And before he has a welder in his hand. Oh, he has a custom catcher. He needs to get a Pokemon and a switch in order to move this thing. And before he gets that combo, I guess he can get a green that could get him there. 
bro, don't tell me you actually got the cards you need to get out of this. I swear. Ooh, he bumps his draw support. That's good. I guess he's gonna welder me here, but then we can reset stamp him Mars Lieutenant Surge. Hope that Mars gets me green. Uh, this freshy start is causing issues. He's still gonna get knocked out though, which is still huge. And that is game. Or not game, sorry, but that yeah, that is game actually. <laughs> Yo, this deck is dirty, dude. Oh my gosh, this deck is dirty. Uh oh, we prized a green. We'll go figure. Wow. Not bad. <laughs> that was pretty dirty. See you guys in another match. Alright guys, we're gonna go get into some more games with this deck. The deck definitely seems good. When you don't brick and like you don't get like a you know a bad starting hand that doesn't really do anything. And this deck sets up seems pretty good. That's all I gotta say. Alright, we're up against um Malamar here. Not my favorite deck in the world to play against, but whatever. Uh we do go first, that is pretty good. We'll see how good our start is here. Okay workable i'm actually almost fine with just doing turn one mars but in before the mars gets rid of a uh giratina that would be kind of embarrassing we'll see okay so we could tear cherish ball here Ooh, we did prize the other dust trev we get buzzmosa can buzzmosa again why not and we're gonna go for the dust stone we're going Miss Magius before we do Mars. Like, we could easily just Mars, but uh, we could honestly Miss Magius ourselves into a green, which is what we're looking for. No, didn't get it. Rip. Nothing good there. Let's see if Mars gives me anything. Okay. We can Pokecom for another Miss Drevis, which is decent. Assuming we can at least get a good thing going with Miss Magius. Like, we can power plant them. There's no point of doing that because we'll just play Viridian Forest down. I think I just pass. Yeah, see, this is like the issue with the deck. When you get like a kind of like just not really anything good off of Miss Magius and you don't find your green or Poke Gear to find green, you can kind of see how this deck might kind of crumble a little bit. So, yeah. However, if we can draw a way to find Miss Magius here, we do have that turn two Trev set up, which is pretty good. Or if they do put me to sleep and I don't wake up. They do really need to get a good start here. Like, they're going to need to get quite a few things going here. Because if we are able to get that turn two Night Watch off, they are going to be in trouble. But we're in top deck mode, so it's not looking very likely. And I don't even think I want to do Jesse and Jane, even if I do. So I don't really know. We'll see what we can do here with our top deck, though. I really hope it's a good top deck. We have a lot of outs. Yeah, well, I guess we gotta hope oh, we don't... Wait, we have to wake up, too. Okay, we do. So, can we draw Miss Magius? No. We can thin, though. Three Miss Magius in the deck. Three Dust Stone. Four Poke Gear. One Green. Okay. Not ideal. I guess, like, I could switch into the Miss Drevis and, like, let them knock it out. Which, honestly, doesn't seem even that bad, to be honest with you. I think I am going to do that. I guess this means if I draw Miss Magius, it, it doesn't mean... But then this way, I don't have to take damage, which I think is fine. We know they're playing Ultra Necrozma, too. They could easily just build up a Necrozma and knock me out. I think I'd rather just let them knock out Miss Drevis. We, have, we already had the tag switch, then we would just need to find a B-string out. Plus, Mischievous, really logical thing. Now, I could have Jesse and James in there. There's really no point. There's nothing in this hand to get rid of. Like, I might need to keep Power Plant, because if it ever does get to the point where my opponent, you know, you know being able to Viridian for an energy every turn is pretty busted. We'll see how this goes. Them playing Customs is also a little scary. That's a card that can help them out. Never mind, they're playing them willy nilly. Just because they, they, they can easily custom catcher out of it. Oh no, what kind of hand was that, bruh? Because they draw custom. That's a three, like, pretty much free, three, three free cards for Nightwatch. You know what I mean? Like, we Nightwatch them, they draw three. Ooh, they did get rid of a Mal Energy, though. I like that. 
We'll see if they get <coughs> the Malamar off here. Good thing they don't have a Drachi in play. Actually, Drachi is pretty bad for this deck, too. Not gonna lie. Ooh, they don't have it. All right, we get to buy another turn here. Let's see what we draw. Another energy. Well, I mean, I guess this is fine. We can still attack with this guy in a couple turns. We still have the reset stamp, Jesse and James. Like, I guess, like, theoretically, this hand is still fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. My opponent could very easily, though, triple Malamar me here and knock me out with a custom catcher photon geyser. If that does happen, I'll cry, but they would need so much. Like, that's pretty unlikely. We'll see what happens, though. The Giratina, I think, is the most annoying thing, though, about this matchup. That's why I want to build a Buzzmosa and get another Tread build up, but we priced it. Okay, what are we going to draw this time? Green, beautiful. We can get Dust Stone. Definitely get Beast Ring for the Buzzmosa. So the spell tag is definitely a little annoying on my opponent's end, but it's fine. Uh, what do we get rid of here? I guess the tag switch, because we don't need to play it right now. But I just want to have a Buzzmosa ready to go in case we need to retaliate with a potential another Dust Trev. The fact that he doesn't have energy in the Necroz was good too. This is... Oh, I guess I shouldn't have gotten a uh, <laughs> beast stream, but we can always Jesse and James one away. Bring in you. Stamp him to four. No, oh, we've already played green. We can't do Jesse and James. Derp. Eh, that's fine. Here we go. Night Watch. Let's see. Can we get rid of some goodies? Custom Catcher. Beautiful. Get that out of here. They're going to spell take my active here, most likely. And we'll see if we get the other Dust Trev off the prizes. We do not. We do get another Miss Drevis, though. I guess we can tag switch Miss Magius, right? Hypnoblast. <laughs> sure. We just got to hope this guy lasts a couple turns. Hmm, Pokey. So they can get Jirachi. But they're not going to. They get Malamar. So they can take with Giratina. Do 130. They can two shot me. The Giratina is definitely annoying. This is kind of why I thought this matchup was a little brutal. Nope. 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 I had a Cynthia anyways. Of course. That's pretty frustrating. Just a little bit. Just like a tad bit. Not like insanely frustrating, but you know, just a tiny bit. Hmm. This is not looking good. Not Just not getting that turn to Nightwatch, I think, is really hurting us here. And the fact that they can just infinitely loop this thing is also a really bit of a pain. This is why I want to play Spell Tag. Shutting off the Escape Board, Spell Tag, even, you know, just things I like seeing. So I guess you can see how this deck can lose. Loses to garbage like Giratina. <laughs> I hate Giratina, man. It's so annoying. Anyways, let's see what he does. himself. I mean, there's nothing we can really do. I guess we just hope we didn't have an energy then. We'll see what happens. The game ain't over yet, though, folks. This game is far from over. I don't want to play the Mistrevis down, because I can just easily lose that way by spell peg. So we get rid of his entire hand here, and I think we will do that. Get some dead cards out of the deck. I think we'll need this tag switch, though. We'll just see James away the Mistrevious and the Beast Ring. And before he draws a supporter, he's only played... Played four. He's got, like, he's got a few customs left, I think. And it's a good thing he doesn't have Viridian play, because once again, he could easily just get your turn that way. Ooh, he got rid of a custom anyways. I'd love to see it. Here we go. Now we're just gonna have to hope he doesn't get a knockout. Ooh, of course he had a Cynthia. 
Whatever. Anyways, that is gone now, and as long as he doesn't time to get anything good here, we should be okay. Still, though... Oh, he still doesn't get the Dust Rev. We're not gonna be able to win without that. I, I actually don't even think we can win now. Oh, he drew an Acro Pike. Rip me. That's definitely gonna get him out of this. Rip. <laughs> Whatever, man. Ah. <sighs> whatever <laughs> so there you go that's showcasing how the deck can struggle all right guys let's go do another game with the deck so that's your weakness you lose to infinite giratinas you lose to them also drawing out of the lock and you also lose to not getting a quick enough lock off so i mean not a perfect deck by any means but still and we're up against it looks like possibly another malamar deck don't look like they play anything like Dedenne or Jirachi, though, which are two good things to actually see, in all honesty. Okay, let's see what our start's looking like here. Okay, this is a pretty solid hand. Hand looking good. If we could draw a Pokemon here, Pokemon would be good. But I do like this hand. I guess we can green. We'll see what we draw. Yep, they're playing Malamar again. We have to deal with this, <laughs> with this stuff. We'll see how good their start is. It really does come down to how many Inkays they get into play. That is one thing that does worry me is how many Inkays they put down. But our hand is looking promising though, that is for sure. Ooh, they have to attach a Ditto to Lily for four. Good to see. Good to see. It's a good thing, too, Trevnor is not weak to Psych. That would be pretty annoying. Then, then we have to deal with Mew3 hitting us weakness. But mainly Giratina, which he does grab. So, yeah, this, the Giratina is definitely annoying. Um, but if we can lock him, we should be okay. They get rid of a Cynthia. Okay, getting rid of their supporters is nice. I really do want to get this turn one Trev off. If we can knock out the Ditto, that would be amazing. See, we draw. Ah, If I had a Pokemon here, I could Lieutenant Surge, knock myself out, then do greens. That would be good. For now, though, we are going to have to get probably a Treasure and a Cherish Ball, maybe, for Buzzmosa. I'm cool with this. Oh, no, no, don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to get Buzzmosa. A treasure away the switch. Get that big boy Trev. <coughs> Catch. The stone. We could play the Viridian just to thin a card. I think we should do it. I guess Pokecom, because I still have enough treasures in the deck to draw out of this. And mysterious <coughs> message. Okay. Not terrible. Got another got another Miss Magius come my opponent's way. I like to see it. Let's see what we get. Oh no, we didn't get the tag switch. No. Dang it. Didn't find a tag switch. That is unfo- What? What? We prized a lot of energy. Oh, no. Okay, well. It's fine. <laughs> not really. But it's fine. Whatever. My opponent might not even attack me. Well, I guess they could double Malamar. We'll see. That's unfortunate, though. Not getting that tag switch there. Makes me cry every time. So I want to play four tag switch. Just on the off chance we do need to do that. I guess because we got the Trev, we didn't need a treasure for the Trev, but like, I don't know. It's fine. We can still do Surge Mars and we can still probably attack him. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they get a knockout here. I don't think, or not knockout, sorry, they attack him. I actually don't think they can because they can't move the Ditto unless they get an escape board. 
into a Malamar, right? You know what I mean? We'll see if they get there. They have, it is good to know, they have played three of their supporters, and that is relevant. And we'll see what they do. They might let me knock out the Ditto, which I'm fine with. I'd probably rather see the Ditto KO'd than the Tina. If we can lock them two, it would be good. Wait, did they get any more Pokemon here? They did get another Giratina, that's fine though. They uh, Did they already do Viridian? They could have discarded it. Let's see what else they get here. Might just retreat. Maybe instead of playing two Jesse and James, take them out for Bill. Because, like, with Bill's analysis, um, it would still help you a lot, right? Bill could be good in here. Yeah, why did he not get rid of the Giratina there? What the heck? It's kind of weird. Your Tina's though are giving me a bit of a headache. Okay, we have a double Mars. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep the energy. We don't have much in the deck. There we go. We got a tech switch. Ooh, custom catcher. Gets discarded. I like that. So we can Mars him again. Don't really need to though. We'll Night Watch, knock out my opponent. Maybe the GX move would be better, but we remove his entire hand. Yep, there we go. And Erica's Hospitality goes bye-bye. And we need to build this guy up, and we should be good. We should be good. We can also switch and go into this guy if we really have to. No surprises. Come on. Poke gear. That gave me more green. No whammy, as in do not draw something insanely good here. Do not draw something ridiculously good. Let's see. What are they getting? We know they don't play Jirachi, so yeah, I'm, we'll see. Uh, the Distortion does mean I can get double hit by Giratina. I kind of want to play, um, I kind of want to start playing, uh, what's his face? Uh, great potions in here, mixed herbs maybe, there's room. Uh, but yeah, we're in a good spot. We can maybe set up a switch play on the other Trev here if we can find a green. No, we do get a Jesse and James. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, Nightwatch seems fine. <laughs> we just gotta hope they don't draw anything, and that's about that. Still looking for energy here. Maybe if we prize a green, getting one now would be good. Okay, there's an energy. So as long as we can build this guy up, we can switch into this guy and kind of save ourselves. That could be one way we can win the game is by just tanking with two different things and nice he didn't draw a supporter that is good still has two giratinas yeah these infinite giratinas are annoying but we can make work so we have to move our thing right we got another tag switch love to see it We get a green, we get tag switch. Seems good. Okay. Choose a tag team, move energy from. Yep, you. Oh! So the text says move energy from a tag team. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I gotta read the text on the screen before I click anything. I could pale moon him, but uh, we'll just knock him out. It's fine. We need to take prizes quicker. Hits me around 30. We should be good here with two traps. I do maybe want to count the stadium though, just in case he does. If it is technically thinning his deck out. <sighs> It'd be me. And he gets a spell tag, bro. <sighs> Boy, I hate Giratina. Hmm. 
Doing okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. We're gonna get knocked out though, so it is the end of the world. But what we can do is we can green for power plant and more greens, I guess. I really wish I had healing cards. We could Pale Moon him now, but the odds he has like a card to switch is high, so we just knock him out. And then pretty much hope he doesn't have an energy. Ooh, both switch and energy. I'm glad I didn't do that GX move. That would have been a terrible idea. Okay, this seems fine. As long as that card is not a way to attack, we could be good to win the game. No, he has a... Are you serious? <sighs> Two energies and a switch. And he drew a custom catcher. Of course. Yeah, I think this Giratina matchup is trash. This Giratina matchup is not good at all, man. Oh my gosh. Well, we have one last ditch effort, and that is to reset stamp him to one and then just pray that he doesn't get an energy. That that's our last ditch effort. Put him in top deck mode, hope he doesn't draw an energy. So we can win this. Just gotta pray he doesn't find himself an energy. That's how it works. He's got three. How many Viridians? Two. Yeah, so as long as he doesn't find energy, we can win. Stamp. Well, Marzum, that could be an energy. Oh! Whoa. What a card to get rid of. And we have to night watch him here. So yeah, it's pretty much down to what he draws. If he draws out of this, we lose. If he doesn't draw out of it, we win. Let's see. Let's see, does he draw anything here? No cap. No cap, be a dead card. This is nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. This is very, very nerve-wracking. Come on. <laughs> Don't do it, yes! Oh, that is, that feels good because I hate Giratina Malamar. Oh, that feels good. Okay, well that'll wrap today's PC show video guys with the tr Dust Trev deck. This deck seems pretty and in pretty insane if it sets up. Malamar definitely seems like your worst matchup, but uh, other than that, I think this card is pretty good. You can probably beat most other decks just by locking them out of the game completely. So yeah, definitely a pretty good deck. I think this card is really good. I'm gonna try it out and expand it. We'll see how it fares in that format. We can play Weakness Policy to help us out a little bit. I don't know how I want to play an expanded though. I don't know if I want to play with Malamar or with Miss Megius. Like, Miss Megius we know is going to get banned soon. But you can still, I think, use Miss Megius for Richmond. So I don't know. Anyway, so another video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. We're reaching 6,000 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor card game and TCG. If you're looking for Cosmic Eclipse pre-orders or any other PCO codes, get them over there. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter down below. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.